we're going to create a preset from scratch. I'm going to right click in this box over here in the center. We're going to make this our input. It's going to be input one because we have a guitar plugged into the front of the XFX. And we need an output. If you do not make these two, you are not going to hear any sound. So I'm going to put this all the way on the end so I can put a bunch of stuff in between if I so choose. Output one. All right. Now we need an amplifier. And I'll put this somewhere in the middle. And then, and then, so you click on amp. There's your amp. Nothing's connected yet because there's no white lines. So if you see, let me show you. So you see this negative and then this positive. You're going to click on this. And you see this green squares on the left side? You're going to click that. That's going to create a line. Imagine this being a guitar cable, this white line, to your output. The input, same thing. I'm going to click on the input. You see that? That's that O. Click on that. Go over to your amp and click on the green on the left. I now have a full connection from input to amp to output. All right. And then on the amp, we're going to pick our amp. And all these amps pop up. And how did I do that? I went down here to where it says amp. I first clicked on amp. And then under channel A, B, C, D, you have type. So we're going to pick the match list because it's my favorite. Do, do, do. Or matchbox in this case, whatever. We're going to click the matchbox chief man, which is obviously match list chieftain. Now it's not going to sound great yet because we have no cab. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to click cab. Cab one. These are already connected because I created this cable. So I don't have to do the, you know, click the O and then click on the green. It's, it's connected. Cab. All right. Cab's a little confusing. So you're not going to go under A, B, C, D to find your cab. You're going to look on cab one over here. It tells me when I have one by four pick 57. I'm going to click picker. Yes, I agree. It's kind of confusing. I'm going to go to a 212 matchbox because again it's like matchless. It is good to match your cabs just like real life. Debate me another day. Anyway. So now I got a cab. Doesn't sound good yet but it will. I'm going to go back to my amp. I'm going to turn up the gain a little bit. I'm going to dial back treble, dial back mid, increase bass, because I only have an 8-inch FR for <laughs> And then I'm going to add an overdrive. I'm going to right-click. You want to put your overdrives before the amp, just like real life. The one they suggest from the start is pretty good. Tape distortion. Got it on five. Now I'll put my reverb behind the amplifier. <laughs> reverb one. I'm going to increase the time a little bit. I want to say it's like two seconds. So I'm not sure. So you can tap on that and hit enter. Okay, so I got my reverb. And obviously you can add effects to your heart's content. Um, let's try. That was in a real fart. That was my mouth. Try chorus. Anyway, so 
There's my chorus. Add some delay. Time set to 500. I usually do about 420. trying to play without playing. go you've now made your first whatever and then you can click save 413 is empty so I'll click save just real quick click save and then I want to name it so I'm going to do save preset if you need to save to a preset to a new number you like it but you want it to be somewhere else like I showed another thing you can click another empty slot but we're not doing that we like the slot it's in so we're going to save preset Oh, it's the same as that. Right click, type in the name of what you want it to be. Yeah. Delay blah. Yep, with misspelling. Baka. Delay baka. Delay and baka. I can't type. All right. So now I'm going to click save. And delay and baka. Is going to be there. So if I go to my presets and let's just go somewhere else. Let's go to where it says Sultans. Which actually is a terrible preset. But anyway. Let's go back to Delay and Pika. <laughs> there it is. 4.13. And it saved it and it saved the name so there you go and if I want to share this file of the goodness of my heart to people online I will go to Fractalbot and like I was saying in the last video Midiox is your friend and get it from Sweetwater so you know it's from a legit source uh, you can google it so we're going to go receive mode. This is where the computer's receiving, not where the amp is receiving. Norton, go away. All right. Axe effects three. MIDI in, MIDI in, because I'm just using USB. So it's going to be MIDI in, MIDI out, not the Microsoft. Choose where to save files. I already have it saved from uh, Fractal, my Fractal folder. Receive files begin. No, I do not want to send all the files because most are factory. So deselect all. And then individual preset. And in this case, it is 413. So we will type in 413. And then we'll click OK. Backup complete. Now, how do I know that worked? Because I'm going to go to my folder. I'm already in my fractal, fractal folder. And there it is. Delane Belka, which is supposed to be delay blah. And I can now share that to the world. It's saved and I can share it just like anything. I can email it to somebody. Drag and drop in your... Uh, Gmail, whatever. And there you go.